Hello and welcome everyone. In the previous episode we learned about how to create the header. Uh, so we learned about this header and now in this episode we're going to learn about how to create the footer in the Gatsby WordPress theme. If you have been following along or if you are new you can go to coditech.com course and then building Gatsby WordPress theme here and you can find all of the series list of uh, the playlist, the entire playlist over here so you can check it out. Okay great. So what we're going to do is we'll go back to our GitHub repo which is Gatsby WordPress theme and please follow me if you aren't already and then we can go on to packages uh, source and then components and then go to the footer okay so if you've downloaded that you can copy the footer from here I'll, I've already downloaded it so I'll just use it from here okay I'll come to my components and then I'm going to go ahead and paste footer okay great so let me explain to you what goes on over here so so I've already explained to you what static queries are so I'm going to copy this query and paste it inside of the graphical so I can show you how things are working So that will be localhost 8000 triple underscore GraphQL. Oops. Okay, localhost 8000 triple underscore GraphQL. And copy the query. I can copy the query like so and I'm using a PHP SOM extension that's why it allows me to minimize and format those you can download that extension if you're using PHP storm or if you're using some other code editor then you can check that out okay great so you can see that we've got the data available we've got footer so this if you're thinking what this footer and footer menu items is basically if you're doing multiple queries with if you're doing multiple queries with the same name you can actually uh, use aliases so I can use footer and then use footer menu items here but in this case I'm not doing multiple queries with the same name but just out of uh, it, it's just the way I like I'm, I just want to name this as footer and this is footer menu items uh, that's all okay and then if you're wondering what this menu items are uh, then you can query menu items and you can check the condition the what is the location of the menu is so since I registered the HTMS menu footer and menu header that's what it is uh, you know here but you if you want any other menus you can select and you can fetch the menu items uh, for that so if I go on to so if I go on to appearance menus you could see that I have registered these menus and that's what I'm fetching okay great so I've got the child items menu sidebar and if you're wondering what this is sidebar 1 and sidebar 2 so you could actually because I have extended the WP GraphQL plugin uh, you could actually have this copyright text once you have uh, installed the headless CMS plugin uh, you can come on over here inside of customizer and then you have your social link items over here so you can add in your social links over here uh, and then for footer you also have the copyright text that you can add over here right and socially and then sidebar 1 and sidebar 2 those are basically your widgets so you can come into the wi widget section and because I have registered using the headless CMS plugin this actually registers two sidebars f two sidebars footer 1 and footer 2 and whatever you put inside of it will be rendered in the front end over here so this widget 1 and widget 2 is actually coming from there so if you open it you can see this is the content and that is what is being displayed over here alright awesome great so, so you've got the footer query right and in the next video we will continue further about the uh, development of the footer. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.